Welcome to Velocro. I have a fun show. I promise to do the BH versus Bestelivo, and I haven't done it yet because there's been some other videos I wanted to get out that I thought were more important and better stories. But there are some real significant issues that I'd like to talk about between a modern bicycle. Now, this is a 2006, but it still has all the modern goodies, uh, maybe minus a synthetic frame. Now, the Slevo is a steel frame. It's carbon steel, not Columbus or Reynolds, unfortunately. But we'll talk about some of the differences because I like this bike a lot. And if the frame was a little smaller, I'd be very excited about doing something because <laughs> I really do like the way it rides. Okay, the major differences between a retro bike and a more modern frame could be the tube angles. Now you'll notice in the Salivo, and I'll try to rotate the bike a little bit. The, the top tube slopes up towards the seat lug, which has that really beautiful Chanel logo. Okay, the materials between this bike and one built this year may not be a lot different, depends who made it, but you're not going to get these beautiful lugs and Chanel logos and all the artsy and the craftsmanship that you're going to get with a lug frame. Most new steel bikes are chrome molly, not all, but many, and a chrome molly frame is highly desirable. Aside from the materials, which I think steel is superior for most purposes. Uh, there are differences in such as like the carbon brick candles and stuff like that, and synthetics. And probably the major difference between bikes from this generation to this bike are the compounds in the tires. Tire compound is almost everything. This Trend pattern is very insignificant compared to the material and the durometer. That is how spongy the material is. Now, softer racing tires wear out quick, but they are very spongy and they grip well. Okay. Uh, modern bikes also are more specific. Uh, we have gravel bikes, road bikes, TT bikes, mountain bikes, cyclocross bikes, adventure bikes, touring bikes, the list goes on. 40 years ago, it was much simpler. And of course, weight. Weight uh, from this generation, no matter what I do, is going to be happier. Uh, now, we, when I was building this bike, we weighed this handlebar with this triple T stem and found it to be about 32 grams heavier than with an alloy carbon stem and a quill adapter. So we left the TT because it looks better, even though it has more drop than I maybe desire. And uh, that's the next point. Modern bicycles typically have what we call compact handlebars of various style, but that means that they're, they're designed not to have a lot of drop and not too shallow like the Venture Max. Some people don't like the Venture Max because the drop is so shallow, but compact split the difference between this and this monstrosity, which really is a lot of drop. It's So you can see, hopefully, that these handlebars are significantly different style. And also, the position on the hoods can never be as level. 
no matter what you're going to do. Maybe you can fill it with a block of wood. The other issue is this bike, as you can tell, originally came with down tube shifters and someone upgraded it to paddle shifters. And these Campanella shifters work very well and I like them, especially the thumb shifter, but that wasn't the original configuration and it was down tube, which means you need to trim it and you're more limited to how many speeds you can have because you're if you have too many uh, cogs, you're always going to be in the wrong position. That's why down tube shifters are usually limited to seven. It's typical, seven or eight. That's typical. Uh, stability. Now, if I were going to compare riding stability between this bike and this bike, when I'm zipping down the road, I kind of like the Stolivo. It feels, it just feels good. <laughs> it just feels good. There's nothing wrong with it. This bike is a little bit more responsive, not squirrely. It's really quite a nice bike that way. It's not overly squirrely. And this bike is also not squirrely. I thought it would be, but it's particularly stable. So as far as speed goes, ah, oh, this bike would be quicker because let's face it, it's lighter. It has a little bit fancier shifters. It will respond a little quicker. It'd be a little snappier. If I had to ride this bike or this bike all day, being the seats and change, swap out the seats, I think I, I take the Salivo. Yeah. Uh, here's the other issue. When you're looking at the classic sport of cycling, a classic frame with lugs can be very attractive. They look great. And if you try shopping for a good steel lugged frame now, you may find that they're getting expensive because people want them. They last forever, and as long as they don't get over-rusted, and there are things we can do to protect the inside of the tube by uh, spraying the inside, but that's another subject. It's very dry where I live, so that's not a major consideration. But anyway, uh, the, this bicycle is terrific. It is a totally different design, equally stable, significantly heavier, but fun to ride and pretty. So I'm going to go with that and I appreciate your time and oh, I got to get my juice and my birds. Thank you so very, very much.